The Revit interface is designed to simplify your workflow. The various interface components are organized in such a way that it's easy to find tools and adjust settings. The user interface is also designed so that it takes up a minimum amount of space, freeing up as much of the display as possible so that you have plenty of room to view and work on your project. The main area of the screen is known as the drawing area or drawing window. This is where you will see and work in the various views of your project. To the upper left of the drawing window is the Properties Palette. The Properties Palette is a panel that shows you the instance properties of the currently selected element, or, if no element is currently selected, the properties of the current view. To the lower left of the drawing area is the Project Browser. The Project Browser shows a hierarchical view of all of the views, legends, schedules, sheets, families, groups, and links in your project. You can think of the Project Browser as a table of contents for your project. Each branch in the Project Browser can be expanded or collapsed to see the contents of that branch. Across the very top of the Revit window is the Program Title Bar. This title bar shows you the name of the program as well as the name of the current project file and the current view. In the upper left corner, there's a large R with a small arrow. When you click this button, Revit displays the Application menu where you will find tools for many common file actions, such as opening and saving projects, as well as more advanced tools, such as export and publish. On the left side of the title bar is the Quick Access Toolbar. This toolbar contains a number of tools that let you quickly open and save project files, switch to a 3D view, and so on. To the right side of the title bar is the Info Center toolbar. You can use the tools in the Info Center to search for information, access project updates and announcements, and search for topics in the Help System. Directly below the title bar and extending across the Revit window is the Ribbon. The ribbon is the primary interface component for accessing the program's various tools and functions. The ribbon is organized into tabs, with each tab containing sets of related tools arranged into panels. Below the ribbon is the options bar. Its content changes depending on the current tool or selected element. When no tool or element is selected, the options bar is blank, but when you select a tool or element, the options bar changes to show tools that can be used to change the selected element. Across the bottom of the window is the status bar. When you are using a tool, the left side of the status bar provides tips or hints on what to do. There are also several interface tools related to the drawing area. In the lower left corner of the drawing area is a view control bar. It contains tools that let you change various aspects of the view, such as its scale and detail level. Each open view will have its own view control bar, and the tools in that control bar only affect the particular view. The Active Drawing window also has a toolbar called the Navigation Bar. The Navigation Bar contains tools for navigating the view, including the steering wheels, zoom tools, and when working in a 3D view, the view cube. Many of these interface components can be customized in different ways, so that you can adjust them to the way you prefer to work in Revit.